Hey chat, how are you? So the headline is, I jumped my car. And how did I jump my car? So my car is old, uh, it's 2013 blue Kia Optima. I bought it in 2015 from CarMax. Uh, it's been fine throughout uh, the decade plus flat tire here and there. Um, and uh, it's got bumps and bruises. Uh, it's nicks and scratches. It's not mint condition, but it's my cherry whip and I get along fine with it. Uh, but as it's gotten older recently, it dies if I don't drive it consistently. So we first discovered this uh, about six months to a year ago. Uh, if I didn't drive it for the weekend, because uh, Carolyn drove and or and or we just we just hung out at home, didn't go anywhere major. Uh, s Monday morning, I would try to start it. Nathan, Nathan, not happening. And so I would have to sum, summon up uh, AAA and they would come out and jump me and super easy, super quick, super fine. Uh, sometimes uh, they would sell me a battery, sometimes they wouldn't. Um, but so recognize the pattern, pattern recognition, tech support, you remove, you continue removing things until you find out the answer. Isn't that what Spock said in Star Trek? Uh, but the solution was, well, I got to drive it every weekend. I can't let it go two days without driving or the battery will die. Uh, and why will the battery die? Because when I was a young man and I bought this vehicle in 2015, uh, I automatically, I was still young. I was still hip and happening. I, I automatically, uh, added beat to it, uh, immediately. I got a 400 watt amp and a 300 watt sub no a 500 watt amp and a 400 watt subwoofer uh, so i could uh, roll around bumping another bad creation uh, when i pulled up to the disco tech uh, i've always liked uh, sound music a little bump in the car i don't need to hear it six blocks away but when i'm rolling down the street you can hear it. You can feel it. And yeah, oh yeah, the people, they be looking over. They be curious. So the way they hooked it up, and I didn't know that back then, and it didn't affect me back then. Uh, whoever hooked it up, I, I took it somewhere in Sacramento. I forget. Um, oh, you know what? I remember. It was in Carmichael. Uh, and they, they hooked the amp up to my battery. And in the beginning, it was fine zero problems but as my car is aged uh that's a problem so it sucks on the battery and after two days there's just not enough juice uh, to start it and just in the past few months it's down to one day uh, because the other day um i didn't drive it on saturday and i was going to take it out sunday hit up the dollar tree and that's really all, all I did, uh, I need to drive my car at some point this weekend. So we would hit up the target and or the Dollar Tree, just run errands on, around, run errands in town. Uh, nothing big, just short, sweet, and it would keep the battery pumped. Uh, and so, uh, but this past weekend, kaput. Didn't drive it Saturday, Sunday, vroom, vroom, vroom nothing and i was like okay so i went upstairs and i said honey my car is dead again uh and so i was about to summon a triple a which i've gotten the same driver the last three times his name is kenneth he's a lovely fellow uh super nice super chatty uh and uh but it gives me a jump and the past two times he's replaced my battery he said well you bought one however long ago eight months ago so uh and this one is completely dead so it's a free replacement i'm like cool kenneth thanks and he's he's a fine fellow um so uh so yeah so this past weekend sunday it's dead i'm like okay sunday i could deal with it sunday is cool it's not monday morning where i gotta go to work uh sunday i got some time to noodle around it was a uh, late sunday morning 11 ish or so so i'm about to summon kenneth for the fourth time in recent memory and then i re remember uh my co-worker mr Powell. he bought me one of those little contraptions that can jump your car 
uh, from Amazon because I told him about this problem uh, months ago and uh, he's really good with cars and he's very mechanical and he does he changes his timing belt he changes his oil he does this he does that I don't he also can do body work he's he's a he's a wunderkind is what he is uh, so I was whining and griping about having to drive my car all the time and he bought me this little contraption uh, it's about the size of a VHS cassette and you hook it up to your car battery and voila magic your car comes alive now I had bought in one of these a few months ago because my car died same thing it was I forget if it was Saturday or Sunday uh, but it was the weekend so I had time I had time to chill and noodle uh, so I bought one from Amazon and it said delivery 2 p.m. I was like cool bet uh, it ended up coming more like five or six but whatever uh, but I hooked it up and there was nothing it did not help and this it was a name brand uh, I guess uh, tens of thousands of four and five star reviews uh, but either my car was completely drained uh, completely empty or I didn't hook it up right or it might have been just a bad unit a brick uh, but whatever I returned it immediately uh, and so ever since then I've been mm, wary or is it leery of uh, those little devices but Mr. Pal bought me one a few months ago so as I was about to summon triple AAA on the old Apparuni on my cellular telephone I was like, oh yeah, I got Mr. Pal's uh, jumper thingy. So uh, I hook it up and uh, direction is very short. It's three steps, but it's in poor, poorly written English. English uh, was not the author's first language. Uh, and, and grammar and uh, punctuation and periods. It, it begins a sentence with a lowercase y. And I was like, okay, uh, I guess I got to figure this out. Um, but it's supposed to be super simple. But one of the things is that when you hook everything up uh, in the in the direction booklet, it said red and green light will be flashing, but they were not flashing. It was just a green light and uh, just a, a solid green light. And I thought, mm, OK, the directions say one thing, but I'm encountering a different what do I have to lose? I could electrify and kill myself. I could uh, completely drain my car battery uh, and kill my car's electrical system. Uh, but mm, what have I got to lose? Uh, so I hooked it up and I started the car. Bam! Bob's your uncle. Boom goes the dynamite. It jumped. I was like, hurrah, hurrah. I ran upstairs. I said, honey, it worked. It worked. I was like a Doc, Doc Einstein in Back to the Future. It worked. It worked. Marty, it worked. Uh, so I kept this thing. It's a lifesaver. I, Monday morning, I recount to Mr. Pow uh, my, uh, my, my tale. And he said that the previous little device I got was 1K amps or watts and he bought me a 2k amp or watt anyways uh it worked and he was so happy for me he was so proud of me i texted him actually right when it happened and he called me a real man my little boy's all grown up my baby's grown up um so i'm recounting the tale to uh, mr pow and he's just he's about to cry he wants to hug me but we're real men uh, and you women's and your, uh, your patriarchy, matriarchy doesn't let us show emotions. But, uh, so Mr. Powell finally says, uh, Vince, it's time to disconnect your amp and subwoofer. And I was like, whoa, 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 simmer down now, simmer down now. And he said, that part of your life is over now, Vince. And I was like, no 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 you take it back you take it back <laughs> i won't i can't it's not over listen i just i i get i'm older 47 i get it uh and i'm done uh chasing skirts and tom catton and uh trying to squire some young fillies at the disco but uh i i keep trying 
I keep trying. I, this, this is why I still lift. This is why I uh, force, I mean, ask politely Carolyn to give me a haircut every weekend. Uh, this is why I dye my hair blonde. Uh, this is why I shave my chest. Uh, that, because I, I, w I want to keep trying. It's the only thing I have going right now. Uh, and how else am I going to pull up to the club bumping crisscross? But this is why I dye my hair. This is why I lift. This is I, I don't want to give up. And if I give up the amp and the subwoofer, I feel like I'm giving up a part of my life that I, I just uh, that has to do with my appearance and me hanging on desperately clutching to my youth and I just won't do it. Yes, darling. And uh, oop. Okay. Hi everyone. We're back. Uh Carolyn is home and she's currently showering. My eyes are closed, Alan Fisher, I swear. Uh yeah, I don't want to give my amp up. I don't want to give my hair dye up. I don't want to give up the gym, okay? Because that's that that has a lot to do with my psyche and uh it's it's teetering everyday teachers sometimes i drive to work and i'm like what am i doing again and i drive home and i'm like where am i going now but anyways uh yeah and so actually this has to do with the other day uh same genre same subreddit different post uh I was picking up Lennox, waiting for him in his parking lot, in his school parking lot. And I was bumping uh, Outcast, So Fresh and So Clean. Uh, and I thought, yes, this is, this This looks thirsty. This looks, this looks desperate. This looks pathetic. But I don't want to be the parent that sits there with their car running, staring down at their telephone. I'm not going to be that person. But I also hate the fact that I'm in a... Uh, middle school parking lot playing 90s hippity hop super loud i just it's it's a constant struggle it's the back and forth it's the yin and the yang that is vince nicholas uh and speaking of which uh my white glasses also have to do with this topic this genre uh i very few people wear white framed glasses i bought them and I feel like if I saw someone wearing white eyeglasses, white frame eyeglasses, I would think, what a D-bag. And now I'm that person wearing white eyeglasses. And there's people out there thinking, douche and a half. <sighs> I, don't, I don't know. It, it gets easier, right? Uh, also, uh, my old eyeglasses, uh, which were complete, just scratched and musty and difficult to see and just worn and withered uh it's been super difficult to throw them away just because i've been through good the good and the bad with them and they've meant something to me um but i'm finally throwing them away uh and it's been nice knowing you but not really and take care brush your hair uh credit card so i used to have or i currently have walmart credit card which was they were paired up with capital one and you would get five percent on walmart.com and grocery pickup which is you do on walmart.com or the app uh and so five percent back on our grocery bill that was uh turned out to be about 30 bucks a month uh which which is 300 plus dollars a year between three and four hundred dollars a year in uh, cashback credit, whatever. And I was like, wow, this is the best deal ever. Well, recently Walmart and Capital One said sayonara to each other. And uh, so I'm getting one or two percent. It's pathetic. It really is. Um, so I hopped on the old Google and I found out the AAA. Yes, going back to AAA. Hey, Kenneth, how are you? Shout out to Kenneth. Um, AAA Daily Advantage Visa Signature Credit Card has 5% back on groceries, Walmart included. I was like, yeah, yeah. Um, so I signed up and I, and you go through the little application process. They make credit cards so easy to attain within seconds of submitting your few, uh, few pieces of information and facts of your life. 
Um, so I submit and they're like, oh, we don't have enough information, call this number. So I call the number and they're like, yeah, uh, you're going to get something in the mail. It's going to ask for a picture of your photo ID, a picture of your social security card and a bank, bank statement proving your address and I was like what for a freaking credit card for the AAA daily advantage visa signature credit card wow that's a lot because uh, I can get I mean my credit is 820 825 I can get credit cards like that in the blink of an eye but for this one uh, they're asking a lot um, so I'm waiting for that mailer and then I will submit all that crap to an email address and hopefully uh, they approve me. Uh, I also signed up for the Blue Preferred American Express credit card just for S's and G's because they have a high grocery uh, re rebate program, 6%. Uh, but there's an annual fee, but I'll cancel it after one year. It's free the first year. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll keep it. Maybe I won't. I used to have American Express Blue way back in the day in my 20s and I thought it was the coolest credit card uh, in the world. I would love whipping that baby out at Banana Republic or Abercrombie and Fitch. Uh, but so we'll see. I got that one approved. It's on its way. I don't know if I'm going to use it. I might cancel it. I don't know. Uh, also got an email from Amazon uh, Prime Prime saying, hey, uh, we paired up with Earnify, which I've never heard before. Uh, and you're going to get 10 cents back a gallon. Earnify gives you 5 cents back a gallon. Prime gives you 5 cents back a gallon. Add it up. That's 10 cents back a gallon. I was like, bet I'm in. You right, you right. So uh, signed up, did the whole LinkedIn account, Delio, got the app, although the app isn't required. Um, and I haven't used it yet, but that one is not going to amount to a lot. Uh, maybe five, six bucks. Uh, a month I'm thinking um, about buck 50 buck 60 uh, per fill up um, and then depending on how many times I fill up I only fill up twice a month something like that uh, so I'm not expecting a ton actually that's less than five bucks isn't it but whatever as grandma T and my mom says no one gives you 10 cents okay save every penny you can which I don't do uh, our coffee pot is hecka dirty. Now, when we got, it's a Mr. Coffee, uh, drip coffee maker or whatever. When we got it a few years ago, uh, it would get musty and brown and nasty after a few months. And I would wash it, uh, just hot water and soap and sponge and whatever, uh, let it dry. And then it would be good for another few months. But lately, um, it's, it's been ridden hard and put away wet. But I, uh, I wash it up and make it nice and spick and span, sparkling clean, crystal clear. Uh, but then days, like two days later, it's disgusting again. It's super brown. It's just uh, foggy brown, nasty, no bueno. Uh, I don't know. What's your favorite coffee maker? Uh, leave me a comment in the, in the description box down below. Uh, Grandma Tian bought a pair of adidas shoes from costco uh for eight dollars but lo and behold these shoes a few weeks ago cost 29 dollars grandma tian out here saving money and then another fun fact about costco uh if you bought those shoes at 29 dollars and then were shopping later and noticed that they were eight dollars go to the customer service desk and they'll refund you the difference my mom's review of the adidas uh shoes she got the zapatos very comfy so there you have it uh the seasoning yes we paid 33 dollars in seasoning and a bag of seasoning and chili oil i'm gonna give i'm gonna give some to my mom hopefully it lasts us an entire year but recently uh carolyn paid 13 dollars for some vanilla and cinnamon uh in our walmart groceries so Mm, $33 for some seasoning and chili oil. Not so outrageous, not so outlandish. But a uh, fun fact, so Mr. Pao, his wife, gets us the seasoning, got us the seasoning. Uh, she knows the gal who makes it. Uh, 
uh, South Sacramento uh, Asian gal. Uh, and she's, she's doing such gangbusters business because there's no overhead. There's no insurance. There's no brick and mortar. There's no health department. There's no FDA. The free, the labor is free. Okay. She buys the ingredients from wherever, smart and final, Costco, I have no idea. Um, and then uh, she just bottles it, bags it, whatever, concoctions it in her home. And then she does it uh, tax-free also, sells it through Facebook, Facebook Messenger. Uh, she recently got her entire family brand new iPhone 16s. Stacking chips, okay, as the rappers used to say, making mad paper. But uh, bravo on her. She's an entrepreneur. I would go on Shark Tank with this seasoning. Uh, and that oop. Okay, I think that's it. Take care. Brush your hair. Peace out.